okay, I created this little graphic to help um, talk about how data flows on the network. Here, at the top here, we've got our data, right? Let's say we're um, going to send an email, right? And so we've got our email here, and we're using our email program. So this layer, we're working with data. We're working at the application layer with our email client, right? let's say Outlook Express or something like that. All right, and you see here I've put layers five, six, seven, application, presentation, and session layers. And at this layer, when we go to send the data, right, the data is broken up into segments. With each segment, there is a header added to the data. So when we go to send our data, we start at layer seven, we've got our data, and we, uh, the data gets broken into segments at layer four, right? So at layer four, the transport layer, the data is broken up into segments or pieces, and each segment header contains source and destination port numbers. Right. So inside of the, these segments is the um, the segment header that has the source port number that um, and the destination port number. And if it's an email, and then the destination port number is going to be let's say port number 25, and then you know it's SMTP and it's going to be an email. Um, okay. Then um, then going down the layers, right, the network architecture, because we're going to send this data over the internet, what we're doing is we're encapsulating, we're encapsulating a package to be sent on the internet. So at layer three, the packet is added to our package, right? So each packet header contains source and destination IP addresses, right? So now we have the segment, which has the data in it, and it has the segment header, and now we have the packet header in our total package and the packet header has source and destination IP addressing information the IP address okay then moving down the layers as we're getting ready to send our data across the internet uh, at layer 2 the data link layer the frame is added to the package and the frame header has source and destination MAC addressing um, source and destination MAC addresses added to the header and so now you can see our package contains the data it contains the segment segment header packet header frame header it's got port numbers in it source and destination IP addresses and MAC addresses source and destination then at the bottom layer the physical layer each completed piece or package which is popularly nicknamed a packet is encoded in binary and sent on the wire or media as ones and zeros and you can see here so we move down the layers and then the, in, the information is sent across the internet. This, this um, process of moving down the layer to build our package or a packet is called encoding the packet, right? And then it goes across the internet, and when it arrives at its destination, it will go back up the layers and it will be decoded or um, decapsulated. Um, so the, the process of decapsulation is the process of building the data back up, starting at layer one, moving to layer two, stripping off the MAC addresses, stripping off the IP addresses, finding out what the port numbers are, and then putting the data back together, presenting it with the correct presentation at the presentation layer, and then delivering it to the network application, which in this case would be the Outlook uh, client, right? And so that's the process right here. And hopefully this helps. It's not. You know, this is not broken down at the level of an engineer or network engineer or um, someone who um, programs protocols for the internet. This is kind of just basic overview that helps you understand the process of how the data moves across the internet and um, will help you troubleshoot networking problems if you're going to work in IT.